Labor Day, Hollywood riders are on strike. U.S. auto workers are threatening action, and now the airline industry could be hit next. And so today, the flight attendant union for American Airlines expected to announce results of a vote. And for you, this means they could go on strike. And here, just ahead of the busy holiday travel season. ABC 15's Amelia Faviano is live for us this morning from Sky Harbor, uh, tracking the latest and also the impact this could have, Amelia. So one American Airlines flight attendant tells me a strike would really be worst case scenario for everyone. It's not something anyone wants to have to do, but they say if negotiations continue to fail with the airline company, she feels like that could be the direction it heads in. But of course, that's all dependent upon today. Those impacts, as you said, it could mean we see more canceled flights. We see fewer flights at any given U.S. airport on any given day. And especially heading into the holiday travel season, the busiest travel time of the year for our airports, things could get messy. So today is not an announcement of a strike, however, but whether union members have authorized a potential future strike again, if it gets to that point. The Association of Professional Flight Attendants has been working on a vote with its more than 26,000 members that would authorize a strike should it come to that. And the parties cannot reach agreement in federal mediation. The union says contract negotiations with Americans so far have not produced a contract that includes the improvements to pay, onboard staffing, and quality of life they say their flight attendants want to see. One attendant I spoke to says she's anxiously awaiting today's strike authorization results. She feels there's a disconnect between management and flight attendants right now. Take a listen. Everyone that is forward customer facing has contributed to the success of this airline and should be appropriately compensated. As a single mom with two kids, um, you know, costs rise every single year and making the same wages that we made four years ago is becoming very difficult at the state that we are now, as you said, with inflation and the cost of things here um, in Arizona. And I know that other flight attendants are feeling that across the United States as well. American Airlines recently reported a more than $1.3 billion profit for the second quarter this year, boosted by strong ticket sales and a huge drop in the price of jet fuel. The airline ended up raising its profit expectations for this year. Because of that, we also just saw American Airlines reach a new agreement with its pilots as well. The pilot union ratifying a new four-year agreement with the company. As far as these contract negotiations with the flight attendants, though, I have reached out to American Airlines to get a comment. I have not heard back from them yet this morning, but we'll of course let you know if we get that update and what happens later this morning with those flight attendants picketing across the country, including right here in Phoenix and the announcement they make regarding their strike authorization vote. Reporting live from Phoenix Sky Harbor, Amelia Fabiano, ABC 15, Arizona. Well, you look at what happened with the pilots, right? You hope for the flight attendants because it won't work without them, right? You hope that they also get a piece of the pie, Amelia.